Italian Prime Minister Matteo Ranzi has demanded a full investigation into Tuesday's head-on train collision in which at least 27 people were killed and over 50 others injured. Renzi was quickly on the scene in southern Italy as emergency services frantically tried to free passengers from the shattered carriages. A child of about six years old was the first to be rescued. The Bible says that there is a time for everything. This is a time to cry, to show support to the families, to show humanity in the face of pain. In the days to come, clearly we will not stop until we know what happened to demand the truth and to apportion responsibility. The collision happened just before midday. Passengers in the front carriages didn't stand a chance. The two trains were travelling on the same track, linking the towns of Carato and Andrea. Wreckage was spewed into nearby olive groves. One witness said it looked like a plane crash. One train driver is reported to have survived, although badly injured. One passenger says, I was listening to music and suddenly I realised I was on the ground and I couldn't move. The controller was there with me and he couldn't stand up too, so we had to wait for someone to come. There's been no immediate indication as to the cause of the disaster, but the stretch of track is unautomated. A local prosecutor said it was too early to speculate, although human error was likely to have been a factor.